She's got the gift. A transformer. <laughs> transformer. Hey. Right big. And I really I want to say before I let you just take off, I want to say thank you to Kiv for coming on uh, the show and being my guest and sharing uh, your motivation, your books, wow. your minds up. Yes. Uh, I really appreciate you coming. Don't want to this will be the last time you uh, you come here, at least, at least before I go to Virginia. Oh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that. I was like, uh-uh, not before my interview, homie. That is not happening. Oh, this book going to get done oh. before that. <laughs> Listen, again. Hey, to you. I want to thank you, and I really appreciate you. Tell everybody again about the book, where they can get in contact with you, you know, where they can get the book. And I want everybody out there to support my sister. <laughs> What's please that? support my sister. Please, please support them. More importantly, support yourself. This That's book right. is the direction. Oh my God, this good. This book is your guide to financial freedom, guys. I give you passive income, um, ways to make passive income, which means make money while you sleep. In here, I actually talk about your money blueprint. So you can actually discover what your money blueprint is. Well, once you understand your blueprint, you understand the way you wire, then you can change your blueprint. And as you change the blueprint, your DNA changes. Okay. And so, um, I also talk about here a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset you know because you have to understand do you have a, a mindset for growth if you don't have a mindset for growth then your money can never change your capacity can never change all right so we talk about that i got a chapter in this book called show me the money show me, yeah. the, money. <laughs> show me the money um habits of the wealthy and rich and the poor like what's the difference what habits do rich people have and what habits do wealthy people have because there's a difference That's between a being rich yes. there's and a difference wealthy. between being wealthy okay yes. so i real quick i'll just tell you guys the difference between mm -hmm. the two um being rich means you have a lot of money you possess a lot of money and you possess this money and you go splurge it and you do whatever you buy jewelry and you know mm -hmm. material items Somebody who's wealthy will invest that money mm. so that the money will continue to grow. They actually have money working for them rather right. than them working for money. Okay. And so that's the difference. All right. So I, I explain all of this in the book from poverty to profit. We talk about your money lies. And my favorite chapter is breaking up with brokeism. Mm, like breaking up with brokeism Broke -ism. because it's time for you to write that letter and be like, you know, so dear child support, dear baby mama, dear baby daddy, dear tax collector, mm -hmm. dear whoever, you know, um, I, I am writing you this letter to say bye. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like breaking up with, with this it. relationship because yeah, brokeism, mm -hmm. brokeism is just a bad relationship that you have with money. It works just like your regular relationship. But the thing is, it's just like, you know, when you're used to being with someone and you get comfortable, nothing changes in the relationship. And when you get comfortable with your money story and you get comfortable with your money situation and you think that, oh, receiving $1,500 every two weeks is a good life, boo. Oh my God. That is a poverty mindset. Yes. Okay. That is, so that is a poverty. About $1,500 is not a lot of money. If you ask, or one thing that my friend always asks before he does his workshops is, you know, what is the salary to you? Mm -hmm. Let's say the average person may say sixty thousand a year or a hundred thousand a year. And so the other question would be, what is a good salary to uh, for somebody who lives in in Hollywood, California? Mm -hmm. And then the answer was like, oh, one point five million, <laughs> three point seven million. So what makes their financial cap any different from your wow. financial cap? Mm -hmm. That financial cap is a belief system as to what you believe that you can. Receive. Okay, so it's not until you actually let go of that 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 stronghold because that's what it is. It's a stronghold on your mind, wow. and you have to be in control of that. You have to recognize the belief when it shows up. Don't get mad at it because getting mad at it is just going to create more reasons for you to feel that way. You're going to understand the belief, understand that oh my God, that there's a money block. You know wow. what I mean? And this has really hindered me from, you know, receiving more. But that cap, once you have that cap and you break that financial ceiling, when you break that financial ceiling, it becomes limitless. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, you're making $10,000 a month. Rather, right? you're, you're making in, in, in uh, what you made for a whole year right. in right. one month. Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's, that's true mm -hmm. wealth. Mm -hmm. 
that's true prosperity. But how do you make yourself that valuable? By investing in things with your money that makes you more money. Mm -hmm. It's not about taking the money and spending the money. That's right. the wrong programming. Don't you guess, have to listen. guess what? Guess what, guys? Money's not going nowhere. Just because you get it in your hand doesn't mean you got to spend it right away. You know what I'm saying? However, right. money likes to be in the flow. So go put it in something where it's being used, but it's making you more of it. You understand what I'm saying? That's how you grow your financial cap. You Next thing you know, you check your investment account. You got six figures in your investment account for retirement. Do you understand mm -hmm. like why retirement is so important? Do you understand why saving for retirement is important? Because when you retire at age 65 and you're no longer working that nine to five because now you got arthritis in your hands, or whatever, and they don't need you no more because you can't type and right. do what they hire you to do. Trading time for money. Right. That's a whole that's a whole nother thing. And it's not even that that you're even really like trading time for money. Basically, it's you are a market value. Your skill is a market value. What is the market value of you being a telemarketer? What is the market value of you being a salesperson? Mm -hmm. What is the market value? of you being a doctor or a nurse there's a market value for the skill that you have if you want more money that means you need to increase your skills so that you can make more money because you your value changes when you have more skills so instead of you being all right with sixty thousand, somebody will be willing to pay you 150 thousand a year for whatever it is that you do you understand what i'm saying so it's all about you know you Understanding how money works and understanding the concept. Oh, hey, Tasha, um, it's all about you understanding how money works. It's all about you um, understanding that, you know, you, you most people think that they have to work until they die in order to survive. But you'll never have the big money until you have money start working for you. Okay? So I, I break all of this down in this book on poverty to profit. I, I give you guys passive ways of passive income ways. So you can't tell me, oh, well, I don't know how to make more money. If you get this book, I actually give you ways that you can make more money. So it's no you excuse. Get the book, people. You get the it's book. no excuse. You can get this book at poverty to profit dot org. Poverty to profit dot org. The same way that you see it spelled, no special spelling. The same way you see it spelled, that's the way that it is on the site. Poverty to profit dot org. Go to the site. If you go to to the site you're gonna get free money mindset tools on the site i teach you how to get out of debt and i also have uh re financial resources so i have you know people who are lenders I, for for corporations i have the credit doctor who you're experiencing right now angelo mccutcheon who repairs your credit who does your taxes i have lamont millions who's in a financial advisor i have um if 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 you've been through all of this already and money is not coming to their DNA needs to be reconstructed. Yeah. I have mm -hmm. someone on a, a, a resource of someone who goes into your DNA, reconstructs your DNA so that you no longer have to live that story. You won't even recall it. You know, and so when somebody says something that's a poverty mindset thing, what will happen is your mind will reject it. It's just like how when you keep believing in the negative beliefs and you got more negative beliefs, when you try to put something positive in there, your mind rejects it. Why does your mind reject the, that belief? It rejects it because it has more of the negative energy or the negative beliefs as more factual because your focus is on it so much. So you create a fact, okay? It doesn't, it's no longer an image or just fiction. Okay, you create it into a fact with your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, they all create things. Okay, Quickly, if someone wanted to bring you in to speak at their <laughs> church group organization, how can they get in touch with you? Okay, so guys, if you would like to have me come out and speak, I, I am a professional speaker, um, I have wonderful workshops. Angelo can tell you that. <laughs> like, you know, I'm on fire. You just got to get ready. You know, you got to be ready to receive what I give, okay? Because it's not coming from me. It's coming from a, a, a higher version of myself, okay? You guys see this outside. But anyway, um, takiyadiamond.com. 
You can go to that site. You can see you'll be able to coach me. You can also find the different workshops that I do. Um, you can email me at takiaonline at gmail.com. Um, just or Google me, baby. <laughs> Mine's up. <laughs> Mine's up. Once again, you have been listening to the Credit Repair Show with my special guest, Takia Diamond. We have enjoyed her. Knowledge. You have gave a wealth of information. And you guys make sure you reach out to her. Bring her in to speak at your group, church, or Yes, bring me in to speak at and I want to thank you guys for tuning in uh, for this hour across the country at JustRadio.net FM locally. And again, until we see you guys again or hear from you guys again, remember we close with always stay blessed. But even better, make sure you be a blessing. Good night, everybody. Hey y'all, what's good? What's good? Right, 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 folks, hey Supreme. Oh uh, wait, so wait, since she was just about to ask that, you was about to ask oh, I don't let me see, let me see guys. Y'all know this phone suck. I gotta give me an S8. I haven't had time. I'm gonna get to it. Oh no, y'all. Uh Tashel, hey boo. Um Hey Sterling. Guys, if you have any questions. Go ahead and type them in the chat, and I'll answer any questions that you have for like the next few minutes. I'm hot. Oh my God, it's hot in here, guys. This is a lot of light in the radio station. Um, please share this live too, guys. Oh my God, I'm hot. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just hot. <laughs> um, I get like that when I'm on fire. Woo, my my body temperature just be on fleek. Uh, I'll be like, oh my God, I don't know where that energy comes from, guys. I know yeah, somebody will be like, yeah, let's get this energy from. I don't know. It just comes. It comes. And I am not rejecting it. <laughs> All right. All right, so we got to take a picture. So we put it okay. Website. All right, guys, it's picture time. I love you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and answer. Do I mean, put them in the chat, and I'll get back to them later when I get home. Not right now. <laughs> All right, y'all, mine's up. Deuces. <laughs>